This is the Purple Heart. Got a phone call one day. This is President Obama. And uh, I would like to apologize to you for not receiving the Medal of Honor 44 years ago. And I dropped down to my knees almost. After I learned I was receiving the Medal of Honor, I started to think back about why I'm getting in everything. The day of the incident was on 17th September of 69. This took place in uh, uh, Vietnam in the uh, Mekong Delta. And I got a radio call uh, that my team sergeant had been killed. I got to his body, I turned him over, uh, and he was KIA. And so I gave him his last rites or prayer, if you want to say. The map case fell out of the team sergeant's pocket. Once he was out, I, I had to make the decision to go back because it's a must thing to get that map case, sensitive information. And while we were in there, I got uh, shot by one of the enemy through the right chest. After I did that, I finally noticed that I was hit in uh, the right arm. I looked and my right ring finger was hanging off. But it didn't make any difference. I had to continue to do what I had to do. Yeah, this is the uniform I'm wearing for the ceremony. Uh, and I, I believe everything is correct. <laughs> now I'm ready to get to the White House and go ahead and face up this nervous moment. It's going to be a nervous moment, I know it. I can't be nothing but uh, proud, even though it might uh, come late, better late than never. This is my uh, uncle Nando and myself. My uncle Miguel Armando uh, Vera is going to be receiving the Medal of Honor for his actions in Old Baldy. From what I know, uh, Old Baldy, uh, there was three or four hills that the United States had to have. Company F uh, went up the hill and they lost 80% of the company. Uh, they came back down to regroup. This time he was wounded. They put him on a stretcher. When the sergeant told me that he got off the stretcher and that he uh, was rallying the troops, I said to him, he spoke English? He said, no, he did it in Spanish and English and the vamonos que pasa, you know, and he got them riled up that way. They got orders to come back. My uncle stayed uh, while and cover for them uh, and until they all got away. Uh, he held the enemy uh, with his machine gun, uh, throwing grenades and then, then he was killed. My uncle never talked about discrimination in his letters. He loved the United States. I don't think he th thought that uh, he did anything out of the ordinary. I think the way he used to think was, let me hold it and you guys go ahead and go. So, yeah, he would have been honored. Anybody would have been honored.